Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with another fabric unboxing. I'm very excited about this one. It's just regular cotton prints, 108 yards, but I got only a yard of each, so I will have 108 prints. Unless my supplier, you know, accidentally put in some duplicates, which happens. Before I start, I want to mention to you guys that I'm going to do another pre-order for Cotton Batiks. I did that before. It was quite popular, and I'm doing it again, but I don't know if I'm going to offer it to um, everyone. What I did last time is I offered it to patrons and YouTube members at one price, and then I offered it to the general public at a higher price, and it got confusing because I had links promoting it for the public, and some of my exclusive members were ordering on those links, and they were paying more and I'd need to go in and refund them. So it just, it was kind of a little bit of a hassle and a lot of work to set it up, you know, two different ways for two different groups of people. So I'm thinking this time I might just do it for patrons and YouTube members, but I do want to let the public know. I'll tell you the prices and everything. I want to let you guys know in case you want to join one of those platforms and stock up on some cotton batiks. I don't know exactly what prints I will get, but I am familiar with what I get from that supplier, and it's usually an awesome variety. And here's what I offered last time. I'm going to stick with the same this time, and I'll tell you the prices. I'll also tell you the price for public in case I decide to open it up to the public, and I'll just have to figure out an easier way to do that. 16 one yard cuts. Uh, I know not everybody wants 16 yards of fabric, but if I'm going to pre-order, I might as well throw it out there because I'm going to order only after all the orders are in, so I can guarantee that everyone gets what they want. So 16 one yard cuts would be $100 for patrons and YouTube members. If I offer it to the public, it would be 120. 16 half yard cuts are 52 for exclusive members and 64 if I offer it to the public. And then uh, fat quarters, 16 fat quarters is 27 or 33 for the public. Um, and then the last time I did offer 16 fat sixteenths, I don't think I'm going to do that as a pre-order this time. It is a lot more cutting and the last time it just was a little bit time consuming. So what I think I will do is just order extra and I'll probably have 16 fat sixteenths available but limited. I'm planning on doing that. Uh, where are we? This is currently Thursday. I plan on taking the pre-orders. I might start as early as this coming weekend. Right now we're at uh, September 12, 2019. So I would definitely like to order with my supplier by Tuesday, maybe Tuesday night. I'd like to get the fabric by Friday, and then everything would be cut and go out in the mail the following Monday. So we're looking at me shipping out on uh, Monday the 23rd, September 23rd, 2019. You know, you would get it in a few days after that. All right, let's get to the fabric. I'm so excited. I also have decided that I feel like doing a strip quilt. I really do, just a simple strip quilt. Then I tried to, you know, funkify it in my head and I thought, no, let's just do something simple this time. I know they've been done. I mean, there's so many strip quilts out there, but whatever, I can do one too. I actually did one once that I ended up turning into a scrappy looking quilt and, uh, kind of regretted that I didn't just leave it as a strip quilt. And since I have all these awesome prints, and maybe I'll make some lots of fabric so you can recreate what I make. Huh? That sounds like a good idea. Okay, let's get right into these goodies. Now, he did show me some pictures of the shipment that he got in and they were, uh, you know, kind of not wild and crazy. I like wild and crazy prints, but the more subtle ones, you know, sell probably better than the ones that I love. So I was like, I'll take it. 
All right, so we got some little flowers, very tiny ones. Oh, I like this. Good for cheaters quilts. I, I wish I had more yardage for this because all you have to do is buy like two yards and then back it, put a batting and a backing and then you just can, you know, quilt on the block and it looks like you put all those pieces together, but it didn't. That's a cheaters quilt. I want to do more cheaters quilts. Okay. Tiny print. Stripes. Do love. Oh, I like this. I like the colors. I like these dots. I like polka dots. Especially if they're like scattered about. What is this? I thought it was rakes and leaves, but it's, uh, I don't know, little, little weeds. <laughs> okay, so far, I like these stripes. I love stripes. I want to do more with stripes. Let's see. I have three boxes as always. Good colors and I like that. Lots of plaid or check things going on here. Oh, I like this. Stuff like this is great for a postage stamp quilt because you can get some like out of this print, you know, with different colors and some out of here. I really enjoyed that postage stamp quilt adventure that I was on. And uh, do go check it out. Go to my playlists. I've got all kinds of shit in those playlists. I need to add just a general link to all my playlists. What does this say? Got words. I'm not fond of word things, but this isn't like too powerful. Waves, collect, bay, gulf, black sea, sea glass. <gasps> I love sea glass. Awesome for things like postage stamp quilts scrappy quilts. You just get that color and I oh, just love it. I'm so into wanting to do quilt tops right now. I really am. But I do have other videos planned. You know, I'm not going to just make everybody constantly watch me do stuff with fabric. Although, that's what I'm into right now. And my new rule after five years of being on YouTube, I just had my five-year anniversary. I want to do a video about that. My new rule is I'm just going to do what I want. Period. And not care what anybody thinks. Yellow stripes. This stuff. Did we see that? Sometimes he sends me the same print with different colors. Ooh, oh, 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 my favorite so far, because, you know, we're talking a little bit funkified there. I like this, too. It involves hearts and what looks like buttons. Good colors. Pink and gold. Pink and anything is awesome. And there should be one more roll in that box. Yeah, there is. I like the bottom one. A little bit wrinkly. So anxious to do a strip quilt. I like, want to start it today. Oh, I know I've had this before. I've probably had quite a few of these before. Because I've been ordering a lot of fabric. I hope, if you like batik fabric, that you consider hopping on board and becoming a patron or a YouTube member and uh, getting in on the action. Oh, 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 pink and green. <laughs> I do love so much. Oh, and I love brown, too. I really do love brown. Like, a lot. Okay, let me go move those to another table. I'm ready. I opened the other box. I know I've had this one before. Probably still have some of it. I'll probably do some lots of uh, fat quarters, like stripes, all stripes. 
Hmm. Kind of a lot of green there. We saw this print, but I'm pretty sure in different colors. Okay, this is a big print. What the hell are we gonna do with this shit? <laughs> I can think of something. I can make it awesome. Ooh. I might have had some of that. <gasps> I just love the colors. Ooh. It really is like opening Christmas gifts to me. I love sitting down at my table and, you know, trying to decide what I'm going to do with it all. I don't really do pre-orders with anything else. Well, I haven't. And I considered it, but no, because it's, you know, hard to know what I get for prints, but with the batiks, you know, I have an idea. And I, I do give you guys, like, a picture of, like, what kind of prints you can expect. And I always order more prints um, than I need in case he, you know, sticks some in there that I just don't like. Little flowers. Bigger flowers. See, I love these with, you know, tiny flowers or medium flowers for the scrappy pre-cut lots that I do. More. I just love this print, and we're seeing it again, right? I think that's the same print. Maybe, maybe not. What I do is, when I sit down, I, like, start to sort kind of by color, but then if I see a repeat print, I'll pull those aside and sort by print for those. And if I have enough to do like four fat quarters or whatever of one print in different colors, I will do that. Okay, I like this. I like little stuff like that. My arm is getting tired. <gasps> oh, shades of pink and a hint of, I don't know, is there a hint of green in there? Like a very soft sage. I don't know. It might just be gray. But look at that stuff. <gasps> so incredibly up my alley. What am I going to want to do with it? No matter what I do with it, I want you to buy it. <laughs> Maybe some scrappy pre-cuts for that one. I think that that would be super cute. Should have another roll in this box, and oh, uh, we do. Uh, I need a sip of my coffee. <sighs> Lovely. <laughs> Alrighty. If I go on a date, that's how I would drink my coffee. I actually went on a date. I love this. Love, love, love. The flowers do well, especially those tinier ones. I should have asked him for, like, more calico. Maybe I can do that when I order the batiks. Big flowers. Big but pretty. Hi. We have something coming up here that I kind of like. I'm actually looking for a stripe that's perpendicular to the salvage. These are all running along with the salvage, but for this idea that I had for my strip quilt, I want them going, you know, salvage to salvage horizontally, if you're looking at your fabric that way. And I don't think we had that. They all look like they're parallel to the um, salvage. Okay, I gotta go move those. I do want to have a like a little chatty video with you guys, just fill you in on some things. So, uh, like I said, I never can promise what I'm going to do for content. And after five years, I mean, things are bound to change. So right now I'm just enjoying this a lot. And I really like these prints that I see. So far I have two different colors of it. I would like a lot of colors of that love that kind of floral print. So I have it in gold and kind of, um, 
I don't know, it's a pinky, rosy kind of color. You know, hopefully you just don't mind what I do. And if you do, well then, fuck it. <laughs> okay, we have another one in that floral print. Let's see. Let's see if it goes good with these other two. Well, everything goes good. It really does. Oh. I love this so much. What am I going to do with it? There might be even some more like that. I don't remember seeing it in the other um, bunch. Love this. I am seeing some things that I've had before. I don't know about that brown, but I know I've had this. I think. And I know I've had this print, but I don't know if I had this exact color. I had like four or five of these, um, that print in different colors. And, and I've had this print. Don't know if I had it in that color. But I see a lot here that I've never had. Seeing a lot of that kind of stuff. Little flowers. Ooh. Kind of like this too. Ah, <sighs> do do like it very much. When I can't move my arm tomorrow, I hope I can remember it's because of this. <sighs> I like the pattern. I am not a big fan of green, but I certainly am if I could match this up to some purples or some pinks. Various greens with purples, pinks, even brown, brown and green rocks. So I never look at fabric and say, yuck, very rarely. It can always be made into yum. <laughs> oh, I like this. What do we got? What do we got? I think two more rolls and we'll be done. A little bit wrinkly. Lots of stripes. All of them are parallel to the selvage so far. I do believe. Big, big print. Good for fussy cutting. Cut just the flowers out as a motif. Oh! My kind of print. Maybe wishing they might have been in different color combinations. But I'll take it. Look, it's like so hippie. I love the hippie stuff. Hippie flower power kind of thing. <sighs> Good for men's undies. I always say that when I see those kinds of prints. Come on. Give me some horizontal stripes. The mottled pink. Oh, there's actually like flowers in this. Very faint flowers. Oh, I thought I saw a spider. Holy shit, that scared me. But it was, um, it was this piece of <laughs> thread or something. See how that, that's spider-like, don't you think? One more. Uh, get out. So excited. Now, do remember, everything that I ever sell, I offer to YouTube members. Is my bra strap showing? Let's let it show. Um, I offer it to YouTube members and patrons first. And then the leftovers, whatever's left over, makes it to eBay. A lot of stuff sells out. It really does. So if you think I'm trying to push you into one of those platforms, it's because I am. I want you all to get in on it like that. I have this one. I don't care for it that much. I should have told him, no triangles. What I don't care for about it is this print, it doesn't always run with the grain. You know, like if I were to rip the fabric to get it on grain, it doesn't follow the pattern. And, uh, I, you know, I don't know if that really bothers me or not. It does a little bit. But it's really good for the sets of scrappy pre-cuts that I do because it is super cool for, you know, even like crumb quilting, especially like if you use just a strip and, you know, like it gets cut in half. It just gives you some little bit of yellow, purple, yellow, purple. So I do like it. 
it's just that I already have some and it's not like my favorite. Ooh, we've got some paisley going on in there. I love paisley. Kind of a big print, but I don't know. It's what? It's trees. Trees of some kind. Are we in Hawaii suddenly? And we're done with tiny little pink flowers on green. All right, you guys, do go check out my eBay. I always have penny auctions up and running. Again, this is September of 2019. If you're watching this five years from now, who knows what I will be doing. But if you are watching this right now, I actually have um, auctions, penny auctions coming out tonight. What's the date? No, I have penny auctions coming out tomorrow night, 9, 13, 19. And it's going to include the mosaic block that I made, but it's actually for two. And, you know, again, go see my playlists and go look around. Mosaic quilt blocks. I made one on camera I, and then I made the second one off camera and those are up for a penny and you could make like a little tote bag or something or just use it in some kind of quilt where you collect my blocks and make a quilt out of it. I was going to do that. I was like, I can keep this and then, you know, just make a quilt. But, but I don't want to hoard these things. You should see what I have. <laughs> it's like, okay, it's going on eBay. It's going on eBay. I also have a little dishcloth that I crocheted, not on camera. I don't know, months ago, I bought cotton yarn at Walmart, even on video. I showed you guys and I said, I'm gonna try to make like a dishcloth every week or something to put as a penny auction. It gives me something to do when I'm watching TV uh, because I like to always be working. And I obviously made one and it was in the bag with the yarn and I, you know, don't even remember the print, I mean, the pattern or anything, the stitch, I should say. But that's going to be on eBay also, starting at a penny. Now, my auctions and my Buy It Now listings on eBay are for all countries. For now, eBay is going to be making changes. And one of the changes, I don't know if it's going to be mandatory. Right now, it was a change that I could accept. And I didn't because if I accept it, then I can no longer use eBay's global shipping program. I have to ship to the USA. I have to ship outside of the USA myself. And I really have no interest in doing that. I just don't. It's just that much more time consuming. And it's not something I want to do if people are winning things for a dollar seventy-five. You know, <laughs> it's like I just I just can't do it. But currently I'm still offering that because I can ship to eBay's global shipping place, which I is it in Kentucky? I can't remember. And then they ship it out, but you have to pay the shipping if you're outside of the USA. All right, you guys, I'm going to stop now. Thank you so much for watching. I am so anxious to get started, but I have a lot of other stuff to do. So I got to get my other stuff done first. Bye.